Yeah. All right. What I'm trying to do here is uh, change the rear sway arm bush, the rubber bush which mounts the sway arm to the chassis on my LR3. So I've jacked it up. First I cranked up the air suspension all the way. Then I jacked it up here. Still the wheel doesn't come off the ground. So I put another jack in underneath here just to lift the wheel up. So I'll take the wheel off and we'll have a look at the suspension bush. Okay, you can see the suspension bush in here. This is the sway arm. You can see the chassis and the rubber bush here. You can see where this has been the arm's been sliding back and forward inside the bush. And there's quite a lot of play in that. When you're driving along, it rattles. It's quite a simple job. Just got to take that bolt there out. Another bolt here. Lift this off. Get the rubber bush off the sway arm. Put the new one in put this big saddle back on and bolt it down. So I'll do that and you can see. Okay, I've released the bolts that hold the saddle on. Just lever up this saddle here. And I'm gonna pull it off if you can. can be a little bit tight. Get that off. Now, I'll have to stop this for a bit. Okay. And after a bit of mucking about, I managed to lever this off the bar. <coughs> there you go. Got the saddle off. Haven't got really good tools for doing this. I've got a screwdriver and a spanner and stuff. using one hand. Ah, there you go. Got it. It's like pulling out a tooth. There you go. That's the bush. You can see it's a bit worn inside. A bit stuffed. You can see the sway bar. Where it sits, Just underneath there. A bit of dust up here. So this car's done about 195,000 kilometres, and uh, it had a knock in the back suspension when we we're going over bumps. So all you got to do is get a new one of these, slide it on there. Put your saddle back on. It's not really hard. Okay. Good luck.